Hi everyone, so welcome back. And after putting the exhaust system on, it's now time to fit the throttle bodies. Now you'll see here I've already um, thrown the engine shroud on, the fan shroud I should say, and run my wiring harness through as well. And I've also fitted the fan strap, so I didn't show that on video, it's not really uh, very interesting. I just realised that was the wrong gasket kit, so I put that one back on the shelf and I've gone and grabbed the old gaskets. So this engine has actually been set up and run before with these throttle bodies, so I do know um, that they work and the fueling system and everything is already pre-configured. Pre, um, so all I'm really doing here is just bolting everything back on. Now I've tried to um, put the throttle bodies on three at a time because the way these ones are connected is they have a little lever and a, a stop screw which sort of helps to adjust the balance between each throttle body. So that's the way they're all sort of joined. So it's, just, it's easier if they're all sort of interconnected and then sort of slip them on as one, um, one big unit. Um, if you're interested, these throttle bodies are made by a company here in Australia called Racehead Engineering. Um, if you're in Oz, you can buy them directly from Rama at uh, Racehead Engineering. Or if you are in the United States, you can buy these from Al Cosmo at the X Factory. I believe Al is now the official distributor for these throttle bodies. Um, they do come in different sizes. And I believe mine was one of the first cars that was uh, running these throttle bodies about two years ago. And there may have been some slight updates to them um, from then to now. I think the throttle linkage is a little bit different. Um, here you'll see me, I'm just putting some anti-seas on the stars. Look, I know there's not a lot of torque holding them down, but I just think it's just nicer for the next person if they're ever going to pull this apart again, if they, um, or me, I'm, for most probably it's, got, it's going to be me, but it's, you know, you don't want the nuts to seize or rust or anything like that. So Now because these are a, quite a tight um, access point for getting these, the nuts in, um, I am using a, normally the nuts that are used, are a, they use a 13 millimeter spanner. But these ones actually take a 12 millimeter, so it just gives me a little bit more room around them to get access with a socket or a, an open-ended crescent wrench. So I just go around and I'm just nipping them up a little bit just to um, just to snug them down. I, I like to try and apply torque fairly evenly to each side of, of um, a flange. That way it gets torqued down nice and square and flush to the head. I'm just going around and nipping up some of the uh, the little nuts that are hot, the bolts I should say that are holding down the fan shroud. I wanted to make sure that the throttle bodies were fitted first, just in case the shroud needed a little bit of wiggling. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just nipping them up. They don't have to be super tight, just snugs so that don't come through with vibration. And that is the throttle linkage plate. So these ITBs are designs that they still work with the original throttle plate, so you don't have to get a, a fancy linkage set up. They do come with their own throttle linkage. And here it is. So I believe this is the first generation of throttle linkage from Racehead Engineering. And they do have a slightly updated one, which works exactly the same way, just it's got a slightly fancier looking bracket. So they simply bolt onto each bank of throttle bodies and you can see the control arms or control horns on the crosslink bar. And there you go, you can actually see the rod 
from the bell crank on the throttle adapter plate which links up to the control horn on that crossbar there. So that's how the ITBs are actuated. So all I'm doing is going through and I'll just try to visually line up the, um, the throttle so that they all rest on the stops and open and close at the same time. Um, it's important to make sure that the angle of, see those two black control horns on either side of that crossbar, they need to be at the same angle so that they start and finish at the same angle. That way the, um, the butterflies will open at the same rate as each other. Now I don't think I'll show that in the video, but what I do is I fit, I actually tape a carbon fibre rod pointing along each control arm and then I sight from left to right to see that they're in the same plane and then once I'm happy with that then I nip them up. Here I'm, in, I'm, I'm just reinstalling the, uh, the pre-fitted injectors and injector rail. And the, it turns out that my SD card filled up a bit quicker than I thought it would so I think I get as far as fitting the vacuum tubes for the manifold block that run off the ITBs. Um, which runs my map sensor, but um, yeah, so I think the video is about to run short. But look, if you have any questions, look, feel free to ask away or contact me. And again, Racehead Engineering in Sydney or our Cosmo at X Factory in North America, um, they both distribute these throttle bodies. Thanks for looking, and uh, see you on the next one.